All right, today we're going to be doing uh, a demonstration with methane bubbles. Now, there are several types of reactions that you might be familiar with. There's the decomposition reaction, a single replacement reaction, a double replacement reaction. Uh, methane bubbles deal with a combustion reaction, which happens to be a lot of people's favorite type of reaction. Um, does anyone know what a combustion reaction does? Catches fire. Explodes, catches on fire. Does a little bit of both. Depends. Um, so most <coughs> combustion reactions do have an organic compound plus oxygen and it yields a uh, carbon dioxide and water. Now methane has a chemical formula of CH4. Oops. And then, does anyone know how oxygen is in nature? O2. O2, exactly right. Yeah. Then carbon dioxide is CO2. And water is H2O. Now, is this equation right here, is it complete? Is it no. done? No. Why not? It's not balanced. Two oxygens. There's too right, many it's not oxygens. Balanced. So before we can start, we're going to do some stoichiometry and balance the equation. So what do I need to do to balance this equation? Start with the hydrogens. The hydrogens? Carbons. Start with carbons. Start the carbons look like they're balanced oh. to me. If we want to start with the hydrogens, yes. what should we do? Put a two for H2O. H2O? H2 <laughs> Okay, so now we have four hydrogens, which looks good over here, and how many oxygens do we have? Four on one and two on the other. So what should we do now? Two in front of the O2. Great, so now we have a fully balanced chemical equation for the combustion of methane bubbles. Now, to do this experiment, you're going to turn the gas on into a soapy water mixture and let some bubbles form of methane gas. Now I'm going to ask a volunteer to come up that has safety goggles. Um, I want to make sure your sleeves are pushed up. Do you have any rings on? you want to take them off? <laughs> and then uh, if you can go to the back sink and wet your hands. <laughs> we have to wet our hands because we're going to be putting the methane bubbles on our hand and then igniting the bubbles. So you want to make sure your hands wet because if your hands not wet the methane could possibly burn you but if you have a wet skin the water will kind of form a shield between your hands. All right so you're going to want to take a scoop of the methane. Make sure there's no um, make sure there's no bubbles under your hands because when Gases burn, they go up. Oh no. When gases burn, they tend to go up. And if you have methane, if you have, if you have the bubbles under your hands, then we are, and I don't have any more matches. I'm not lying. <laughs> Well, as I was saying, if you have <laughs> bubbles under your hands as the methane burns, the flame will rise upwards, and if the bubbles are under your hands, you'll burn the bottom of your hands. That's why we want to make sure that the bubbles are on the top of your hands. And we're going to get some more matches. So, does anyone have any predictions of what's going to happen? It's going to freeze. <laughs> Okay, ready? Woo! Oh, yeah. And he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a methane bubble. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have to make them bubble so that it has more oxygen to... You have to make them bubble because if you don't make the bubbles, then the methane will just disperse throughout the air and it won't be concentrated. So it won't be able to combust in the way. Oh. 
Mobius. So you light everyone on fire instead of well, just... Well, you wouldn't really light everyone on fire because it would be so spread out that it wouldn't ignite. That sounds like something we should test. <laughs> Turn out all the gas goes in here. <laughs> That's the methane bubble. Some stoichiometry and some technical math difficulties. <laughs> what are you doing?